Have you ever wondered what actually happens when you delete a photo on your phone, especially if you use Google Photos? Does it vanish everywhere? Does it stay safe in the cloud? Or can you delete it just from your phone to free up space without losing it forever? It's one of the biggest points of confusion when people use Google Photos. And in this video, I'm going to clear it up once and for all. We'll look at how Google Photos really syncs with your phone, what each delete action actually does, and how to safely use free up space option without accidentally losing anything important. And stay with me until the end because I've got a bonus tip that's perfect if you use Google Photos as part of your regular photo organizing routine. How Google Photos Sync Works Let's start by understanding how Google Photos thinks because once you understand this bit, everything else makes sense. When you install Google Photos and turn on Backup and Sync, the app looks at specific folders on your phone, usually your camera roll and sometimes screenshots or WhatsApp images if you've added them, and then uploads everything it finds to your Google account in the cloud. Once those photos are backed up, your Google Photo library online becomes your master collection. Your phone and any other device connected to the same account acts like a mirror. So what you see on your phone and what you see at photos.google.com are the same collection, just in two different places. But different things happen depending on where you delete the photo from, hence where the confusion comes in. So let's clear it up. What happens when you delete a photo? This is where things get interesting because what happens depends entirely on where you delete it from. Let's walk through the most common scenarios. Delete from your phone gallery. If backup and sync is on and the photo has already been uploaded, deleting it from your phone's gallery just removes the local copy. You'll still see it safely stored in Google Photos. But if that photo hasn't been uploaded yet, deleting it from your phone deletes it completely gone from your phone and it was never in the cloud, so there's nothing to delete there. Delete from the Google Photos app. If you delete a photo directly inside the Google Photos app on your phone, it will ask for permission to delete the photo from your gallery as well. So it goes from both Google Photos and your phone. Delete online from your computer. But not all deletes from Google Photos are equal. So if you delete a photo from Google Photos on a web browser, it won't delete it immediately from Google Photos on your phone, but a pop-up will come up asking you to review out of sync changes. So the phone app has noticed that the photo is no longer on your Google Photos online, but is still on your phone. You can then review and remove them. It will ask you if you want to remove them from your phone too. So it will go from your phone then as well. So an extra step in the Google Photos app. You can change this behavior in the app settings if you don't want to be asked each time. Using free up space safely. Now, this is one of Google Photos most misunderstood tools, but also one of the best. If your phone is running low on space, the free up space feature helps remove local copies of your photos that are already backed up while keeping the cloud version completely safe. To run it, open Google Photos on your phone. Tap on your profile photo in the top right hand corner and choose free up space. The app scans your library and finds the photos and videos that have been backed up successfully and still have a local copy on your device. It will then tell you how much space you can save. For example, free up 3.2 gigabytes from this device. Then allow photos to make modifications. Then Google Photos deletes the local versions from your phone but keeps the cloud copies in your Google Photos account. That's the safest way to declutter your phone without losing anything. But there are a few important things to remember. After freeing up space, those photos will disappear from other gallery apps because the local copies are gone, but they will still show up in Google Photos. And an important one, if your backup is set to storage saver instead of original quality, the files on the cloud will be slightly compressed and the originals will be gone from your phone. 
So I highly recommend changing the setting to original quality if you're going to use this feature. And from my testing, I found that free up space doesn't remove everything. For example, WhatsApp photos and videos will stay in your phone gallery. You have to go in and manually delete them. It will only free up space on the camera roll. If you're watching this and thinking, this is great, but my photos are still all over the place, then you might want to check out my Photo Mess Success courses. They are perfect if you are ready to finally get your photos into one system, create a backup plan that works and start enjoying those photos again. You can find out more at photomesssuccess.co.uk and there's a version for both Mac and PC, so you'll be covered whatever you use why some photos don't back up and how to fix it. Now you might have noticed that not all your photos make it into Google Photos, especially things like WhatsApp pictures, screenshots, or photos you've saved from messages or downloads. That's not a glitch, it's actually because Google Photos only backs up from specific folders that you have chosen. By default, it just looks at your camera folder, the one your phone uses for photos you have taken yourself. Anything in other folders like screenshots, downloads, or WhatsApp images isn't included unless you turn those on manually. To check, open the Google Photos app and tap your profile picture, go to photo settings, and then backup. Then scroll a bit and tap backup device folders. You'll now see a list of folders on your phone like WhatsApp images, WhatsApp videos, and so on. Simply toggle on any folders you want to include in your cloud backup. Once you've done that, Google Photos will start uploading those photos just like the rest of your library. But remember, when you're using free up space, it will not remove them from your phone. They will still sit on your device, even though you've freed up space. But once you've added these folders and confirmed the upload has finished, those images are safe in Google Photos. At that point, you can go back to your phone's gallery or file manager and manually delete the originals to free up storage. They'll still be in the cloud, perfectly safe and accessible anytime through Google Photos. Bonus tip, my daily delete workflow using Google Photos. Now, here's that bonus tip I promise. Let's put this into a proper routine, one that helps you stay organized all the time. Here's how I do it. After taking new photos, maybe a trip, event, or day out, I make sure the backup is complete in Google Photos. That is step one. Then in the evening or at the end of the week, I open up Google Photos, tap my profile, and choose to free up space. That clears my phone and keeps everything safe in the cloud. My phone stays light and fast, but I can still access every image through Google Photos. When I want to permanently delete something, maybe duplicates, blurry shots, or screenshots, I delete it in Google Photos, not on my phone's gallery. That ensures it's gone everywhere. And if I just want to delete something from my device, but keep it in the cloud, I never use the trash icon, I use free up space instead. This is how I make Google Photos part of my daily or weekly delete routine. It's quick, it's safe, and keeps everything perfectly in sync. So here's the quick recap. Google Photos doesn't just back up, it syncs. Deleting from Google Photos removes it from everywhere. Deleting from your phone only removes the local copy if it's already backed up. And free up space is your best friend for keeping your phone tidy without deleting memories. If you found this video helpful, then check out this little video next on how to edit your videos on Google Photos. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.